That reminds me. Have a good. Let's get you up to speed on using the claw. Here's a crash course. Let's go over the basics first. Use your clutch claw with your weapon sheathed. That's it. Nice work. You can fire your claw with your weapon drawn as well. Try drawing your weapon before firing the clutch claw. That's it. Nice work. Let's move on. Hit a monster with your clutch claw to cling onto it. First, let's go over the weapon attacks you can use while clinging to a monster. The type of attack depends on which weapon you have equipped. The one you're wielding now will soften up a monster's hide. Before we move on, let's get the exact timing down. This is gonna be important, so pay attention. If the monster is moving, you're gonna have a tough time landing an attack while clinging on. Attack the monster first to make it flinch, and once it stops, hit it where it hurts. Okay, let's see if you can pull this off in practice. Pay close attention to the monster's movements and land your attack. with your weapon. That's it. Nice work. Your attacks will be less likely to get deflected when targeting a spot you soft it up. Struggling to land a solid hit because the monster's hide is too thick, here's your answer. Let's move on. Okay, next we're gonna try to hit the monster's head while clinging onto it. It depends on the monster, but there are usually several body parts you can cling onto. You can move to different parts of the monster's body while clinging onto it, but you'll consume a lot of stamina. Make sure to get your aim right before going for a particular body part. You'll need slinger ammo. Go find some and load up. Attack the monster first to make it flinch, and once it stops, hit it where it hurts. On. Now, use your slinger. That's it. Nice work. That attack will consume all of your slinger ammo, but it can knock back monsters. Let's move on. Now let's look at how to attack with your clutch claw. You can use this attack when clinging onto a monster's head. Attack the monster first to make it flinch, and once it stops, hit it where it hurts. Use a claw attack to force the monster to change course. Nice work. Try again. This consumes a lot of stamina, but it allows you to make the monster change directions in quick succession. Uh-oh, looks like the monster is getting angry. When enraged, you won't be able to knock back monsters or get them to change course. Any monster becomes a threat if they're angry enough. Keep a close watch. When angry, monsters will be a lot more aggressive, so it's best to keep your distance for a while. Looks like it's calmed down. Let's move on.
Right. Now let's put everything you've learned so far into practice. This attack makes use of your surroundings. Fire your slinger while clinging onto the monster's head to make it slam into walls. This will be a great opportunity to really wail on the monster. This is your time to shine. Don't rush. Wait for the monster to flinch. Looks like you strayed too far from the wall. Don't worry. Just try it again. Class dismissed.